People is proud to present the fourth season of the 40 Days 40 Fintechs, an initiative under its Include Everyone program, which is leading the way in advocating for technology that promotes financial inclusivity. Since 2020, we've profiled over 100 fintechs and our latest season is shining a spotlight on those breaking down digital barriers and transforming lives for the better. I'm called by name is Gaddafi Moki, manager Kampala branch Nile Coach Basket Services. I'm Mr. Hussein Abdurrahman. I work as uh, administrator in Nile Coach Office, Western Region. My name is Innocent Orichiriza. I'm the founder and CEO of Kasaiba Technologies. Uh, Kasaiba Technologies is a transport technology company based in Uganda that is building digital ticketing and payment systems for buses, trains and ferries, possible to scale outside that and serve public transport. The motivation behind Kasaiba's technology uh, comes from the challenge that faces uh, public transport yeah, uh, and it is multi-layered. Both uh, transport owners and passengers uh, face different challenges and on the transport operator side um, there is lack of accountability leading to losses in terms of uh, ticketing collections due to fraud that comes from different avenues even internal. Then on the passenger side, we find it uh, very hard, especially for the bus sector, for people to find how to book and pay for tickets easily. We've been in business since 2016. We launched our product in March 2019. And to date, we processed more than 11 million tickets across buses and trains in Uganda. Our system has been piloted across uh, 13 transport operators most of uh, these being uh, local buses in Kampala. And um, our app, um, especially the passenger app, has been downloaded by over 500 uh, users. And um, our other uh, apps, and, uh, which run on the post machines, are being used by over 200 uh, transport operator staff. Uh, at the moment, we actually have different uh, numbers that we measure. And um, the 11 million tickets um, that I'm talking about are worth 200 billion Ugandan shillings. This is transaction value that we've managed to collect using our system for our transport operator partner. It's actually a good venture. Even makes, it makes the work very easier. Because even if I'm not in office, I'm at home, I can assess the work. The work, how the returns are, checking their reports without any problem. At the moment, we are heavy on B2B model. So we are trying to lay the rules, the infrastructure needed for our clients to be able to offer the multi booking services. So that's why you find mostly Kasaiba is going to be um, uh, first deployed at the transport operator office. Then passengers can book for tickets for the transport operators that already have the infrastructure in place. Okay. Um, the process is simple. We offer a digital ticketing platform which runs on the computer. Then we provide ticketing gadgets which run an app that transport operator staff can use to make sales for those who come to the counter and also monitor sales for those who book online. We are following the trends uh, in payment technology advancements. Uh, the system we developed initially supports online and offline mode. Uh, and in offline mode, um, the post machine that we provide has been integrated to support payment by cash, mobile money, and cards, yeah, the prepaid cards. Um, then on the web portal side and the passenger go app, uh, we have integrated online payment also by mobile money and cashless, other cashless methods. Kasebe, the only challenge when actually the system was upgrading that's when the challenge is. But in most cases, it has no much problems because even if you reach where there's a network problem, you can go offline and you continue your work. There are some features added, which is a bit challenging to us. Our national IDs, uh, destinations, uh, the starting journey, some of this in next of kin. With, with, with this uh, bus issues, we need to be the first come first. We should be faster. So for us, we used to be, we used to do at uh, the first. We used to only do names, 
and the telephone number. Just like any other digital solution, um, and of course looking at our target audience, we're coming from an informal setup. Uh, public transport is heavily informal, heavily manual, and has its own way of uh, uh, how things move. So we find it um, challenging to convince uh, transport operators uh, that they can adopt a fully digital solution and provide e-ticketing service. The 40 days uh, 40 fintechs uh, has been heavy on making our brand and our solution uh, very famous, I believe. So I, I still see a huge contribution on visibility and um, a stakeholder engagement, uh, stakeholder engagement, I think, uh, because the, the event uh, bring together all the key players and visibility is not going to only be on the consumer side, but also at uh, high level stakeholders. So that uh, you find a big company like Stanbic or MTN, they also know someone like a cyber is developing a solution which integrates their service. For passengers, our service is accessible through multiple channels, but the quickest one uh, for you would be to download our Cyber Go app, which is available in the Google Play Store, and access our website, uh, which is www.kasaiba.com. Join us in this financial inclusivity revolution presented in partnership with Level 1 Project, Cyber PLC Academy, cross Select Technologies, Infitex, Ideation Corner, and the Modulub Foundation with generous support from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Follow hashtag 40 days for the fintechs, hashtag Level 1 Project to learn more and get involved in creating a brighter financial future for all.